Hey everybody, Anne here, and as you can see, I've had to make some modifications. I've drilled a few more holes around the side, and as you can see, I have put surgical tape all around it. You know why? Because there were about four worms that eloped. <laughs> I mean, I found them right underneath the worm bin because it was cool. But yeah, so they were able to, to open this up. It wasn't very, it wasn't very tight, so um, I'm just going to undo all these little things here and have a look and see how my little wormies are doing. Let's see here. Alright, how about if I peel this tape and come back? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, here we go. I have no idea what this is going to be like. But, let's go ahead and take this off. There's none on the top. Completely melted. It's still a little cool, though. And, okay. So, <sighs> let's see. I'm going to have to figure out how to do this with the best light. All right, let me get some light and I'll be right back. Okay, let me just grab... A worm or two. It's hard to do this and film at the same time. Okay. Still very lively. Whoa! <laughs> very lively worms. Um, alrighty. I've gone ahead and added some more bedding. It's just um, a dampened with really, really cold water um, part of an egg crate. And so, those two different kinds of worms, the, the big red worms and the, the night crawlers are in there together. I don't know if this is a good or bad idea. Who knows? I do not know. Um, <laughs> anyhow, we're going to go ahead and put this... Okay, I've gone ahead and put a bunch of shredded, dampened um, egg carton in there. Cardboard, basically. So I don't know. I don't know if this experiment is going to work. Having the, the night crawlers in there with the um, uh, 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 red worms, but we'll see. Alrighty, so I just got some more. Oops, no. What I want to do first is put in this. There we go. There's one little layer. Just nice, nice and loosely. Um, let me put the cold water in. It's just a bag with some cold water in it, that's all. Anyhow, I got that in, and now I've got this in, and now let's just cover it up and retape everything. I'm going to get some new tape. All right, I don't know, guys. I mean, of course, there's no cocoons yet. Um, I did see two of the red worms that were coupling, so... I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe maybe I've totally thrown everything off now. We'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty. Talk to y'all later. Okay, this is the, I guess the third day of the worm bin. After I added the night colors. Betty, get out from behind me. Come on. This dog has been all over me all day. Alrighty, so that's the, the cold water. And it's still a little cold, so that's good. Let's take this out there. Um, let's see what's going on. Well, it doesn't look like the worms are going crazy. Um, I am not going to mess with them. I'm just going to go ahead and get some ice, put, a, put it back over there, and uh, let them relax. See, what, see if they can kind of get used to their surroundings. Hopefully they're not all dead underneath there. I see a nice big one over here. Is it? Is it okay? Let me see. Oh yeah. You're doing just fine. Doing just fine. Alright, I'm not going to disturb it any more than I just did. And so let me get some ice. I'll be right back. I'm going to head and put this little coverlet back in. Got a few cubes of ice. Doesn't really need too many. Just enough. And put that on. Put my lid on. Oops. That doesn't need to go that way. I'm going to secure that and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. Betty, um, let's see. It is Sunday, June 1st. Uh, I guess this is at least a week old now, maybe. Yeah. 
Uh, the worms that don't require refrigeration are still doing really good. I just tossed this whole bin up. Um, they've almost completely annihilated all of the lettuce, some of their bedding. Um, and I've just been putting like a bag of, um, a with a few pieces of ice in it. Or, um, just a Ziploc bag with some, um, you know, cool water in it. And I'm not using the bubble wrap on top anymore. It just doesn't seem like it needs it. But, um, so they're doing okay. The earthworms, I had found some earthworms, put them in there. They have all perished. They're gone. Um, <laughs> circle of life sort of thing again. So, all I'm going to do now, it's hard to see. There's, the light isn't very good. Is, I'm going to go ahead and put some more... Um, shredded. It is a toilet paper. No, not a toilet paper. A um, paper towel roll thing. And I wet it with some cool water. And this time when I took the lid off, none of the wormies were trying to escape. So they must be feeling a little bit better in there. Even though it's been kind of warm in the van some days. Um, they seem to be doing okay. Alrighty, I'm going to throw a few coffee grounds in there too, but I need to find them. I'll be right back. There we go. We got some coffee grounds now. I'm not going to put them all in. Just a few of them. I know they like it. Can't see very much, can you? Just a few. I got them all over my hands. Maybe a little bit more. I don't add this every single time. So I don't know. You know what? I haven't even checked these in several days so I think we're um, I think we're on the right track you know I don't see any cocoons of course there's not gonna be so <sighs> I think I'm gonna stick with this I was almost at the point where I was going to commit them to the wild because I didn't want them to all die but they seem to be doing okay now so I don't know wish me luck alright got me a bag with a few pieces of ice in it just gonna toss that down in there hopefully it'll help keep them cool and cover them back up, tape it up, and put it in the big old chest. Right on. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this wormy update and I'm sure there'll be many more, that is if I don't kill my worms. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Have a good one.